Cornelius, North Carolina. Just to the north of Charlotte, Cornelius is one of the most affluent suburbs of Charlotte, North Carolina. And today in this video, we're going to dive into everything you need to know before calling this home. That's why we're going to talk about not only where you can go and eat and stay, but we're also going to cover what it costs to live in Cornelius and commute times to all the places you need to go. If you are interested in everything Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas, you've come to the right channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified when we have upcoming videos that are going to meet your needs to tell you everything you need to know about Charlotte, including some of the things you didn't know you need to know. My name is Kayla Lindsay. I'm a local real estate agent and I get calls every day from people just like you who are looking to move to the Charlotte area, whether it's across the country or across town. If you are looking for this information and if you're looking to make the move, I would love to help you out with my team to help you find what you call home. So let's dive into today's video and be sure to comment below if there's other questions you have that I didn't cover about Cornelius to make sure you get all the information you need. Let's dive in. Cornelius, North Carolina. I am so excited to show you all there is to know about Cornelius in this video. We are gonna go ahead and without further delay, dive right in. So where is Cornelius, North Carolina? Well, I went ahead and pulled it up. So we have all of the outlines and we're gonna talk a little bit about why this is all broken up, but let's zoom out real quick and see where Cornelius is. So we're gonna zoom way, way out in case you guys don't know where Charlotte is even. Here we are. So. This is the great state of North Carolina right here. We flank the Atlantic Ocean, South Carolina, a little bit of Georgia, Tennessee, and Virginia. Now, with regards to this, the cool thing about the Charlotte and surrounding areas, including Cornelius, is we are just a short drive from Asheville in the mountains, the beach, or really anywhere else you desire to go. So let's go ahead and zoom a little bit further back in so I can show you where it lies with regards to other suburbs of Charlotte. So this is Charlotte, the metro city of Charlotte. And on the outskirts of Charlotte, you've got several different suburbs. You've got Cornelius, Huntersville, Concord, Locust, Mint Hill in here, Matthews, Monroe, uh, Weddington and uh, other areas down here, Pineville, Fort Mill and Rock Hill, South Carolina, because we do flank South Carolina. So that is a place where people will frequent, as well as Gastonia, Lincolnton and Denver. Now, what makes Cornelius quite unique, it's known as literally the town of Lake Norman, right? Lake Norman has a huge impact on Cornelius, and I'm gonna zoom in here really quick. So Lake Norman is a huge impact on Cornelius. As you can see, a lot of what property is in Cornelius is actually on the lake. Now, Lake Norman is actually the largest man-made lake on the East Coast. As you can see, it sprawls quite a bit all the way up this way. And as it goes, it feeds into, there's other waterways that feed into it. Now, Lake Norman also feeds into Mountain Island Lake, the Catawba River, and further down, we have Lake Wiley. So quite a few lakes flanking the left-hand side or west side of Charlotte there. And Cornelius is definitely one of the hubs. Now, why is this? Well, there's a few reasons for this. One, as you can see, a lot of property actually touches the water itself. This provides quite a few lakefront properties. Um, so if you're looking for a home, this is a phenomenal place to go to find a lakefront home. Here's one of the downsides to this, however. It's a pro and a con. Because of the convenience of Cornelius to downtown Charlotte, it's also highly coveted and desirable for those that want lake life living, but an easy commute into the city. Whether they work or play in the city of Charlotte, this will give them the availability to make that commute quickly. Because of that, prices are far higher. That's right, in the Cornelius area, you could find a lakefront property, but it's gonna be quite a bit more expensive than let's say if you go up to Denver or Cheryl's Ford, where the commute is a little bit less. Now, 
Cornelius, as I've mentioned, is one of the most affluent areas of Charlotte or the suburb of Charlotte. Now, Charlotte itself has plenty of neighborhoods that have high affluency ratings, but Cornelius as a suburb is one of the top five. Why is this? Well, of course the pricing is higher for homes, but that's not the one thing that determines affluency. Affluency scores are usually found by what the average uh, household income is, what the property price is, so the average property price, as well as uh, your actual education level, et cetera. So there's a lot of things that go into it. The biggest, however, really has to do with how much is earned in the household income with the averages, as well as the price of the home. Now, because Cornelius has so many properties on the lake, many of which, by the way, you're not gonna find one under about 1.5 million, um, but because there are so many on the lake, it definitely raises that median and average for house price or home price. So let's take a closer look at Cornelius itself. Now, Cornelius has, we're gonna talk about commutes here real quick. So Cornelius has a few main roads that get into the actual town. The first one we're gonna look at right here is Old Statesville Road. Now, Old Statesville flanks I-77, which is the second road that gets you into Cornelius. And if we zoom out, we can see that it takes you all the way up to Mooresville and all the way down into Charlotte on both of those roads. These are the only two thoroughfares into Cornelius, which is why you're usually gonna run into some traffic in the morning and in the afternoon in this thoroughfare right here. Now, I-77, the city of Charlotte has done a phenomenal job putting efforts into making this commute time a little bit shorter. The way in which they've done that is they've installed a toll lane. Now, I will say I was against the toll lane at first, but when you're running late for an appointment, or you really just do not wanna sit in traffic, it is a great way to just hop on and hop off. The great thing about this, it runs all the way up to Mooresville to about this exit right here, all the way down into the heart of Charlotte where it ends entering into 277. That's the Beltline that circles downtown Charlotte. So if you are looking to make a quicker commute, hop on that tow lane and you are good to go. Now, one thing to note, there are entrances and exits all along the toll lane. So what I usually do, because I don't want to sit at the entire time, is I will go ahead and see where those backups are as I'm driving and hop on to avoid it, hop off when it's time. So there are two main thoroughfares coming into Cornelius, but here's one of the coolest things about it. Now, if you've seen my Davidson video, Davidson comes all the way down and into the right-hand side here. Cornelius goes to the left. So let's take a look at this real quick. The main road that goes out uh, to the very tip, I'm gonna call it, of Cornelius, is called Jaton. So it's, you look in here, Jaton Road. Yes, it's pronounced Jaton, not Jetton, and thank you to my local Charlotteans for correcting me of that a few years earlier. I had no idea that I was saying it wrong years ago. The other one is going to be Catawba Avenue. So Catawba Avenue is the actual exit that you would take off I-77 to get into Cornelius. So if we come down just a little bit further, you'll notice there's another exit further down on I-77. This road down here technically takes you out into Huntersville, but it's close enough that it's another one that you can just pop right up and go up West Catawba Avenue and you are in town. Now with regards to the hub of Cornelius, it's one that actually spreads out. So if you're looking for a more slowed down, uh, I would say old school uh, town, you can definitely find it, but you're going to have to go ahead and take Catawba Avenue. So Catawba Avenue, if you take that out to the right out this way, so taking it east, you're going to come through. I'm going to pull up the street map here so you can see it. There's a bunch of old houses all along here that have been converted into businesses. Now, this is one of my favorite things. So I will give a shout out to Classic Bride Informals. It's where I got my wedding dress, as did my sister-in-law and my best friend. They are absolutely wonderful when it comes to anything formal. But all of these little houses right along here, this was the main drag going through Cornelius back in the day. If you take a look, most of them have been turned into businesses, anywhere from salons to music schools, etc. And right across the street, you've also got the library. 
Now, as we continue our little drive down this street right here, we're gonna pop out into what would be considered the little downtown of Cornelius. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. This little strip, which I'd like to go ahead and see if it'll let me do it. Hopefully it'll pop me right down in there. Let's see, hopefully it'll do it. Here we go. So here's our little downtown of Cornelius. How cute is this? All these little shops and businesses that are down here, it definitely brings you back. Now, this is one of my favorite spots to go to. Go ahead and click on that right here. This is one of my favorite spots. They've got phenomenal coffee. And of course, you've got some drinks too. It's the Old Town Public House. They are a bottle shop and tap room, but to be honest, they make a phenomenal latte. So don't let that deter you. They've got a little something for everybody. And as you can see over here, these buildings have all been restored, but kept in their old looks. And I just adore that. I think it's the best thing when towns do this. So I'm glad we got to be able to see that. So as we continue on down our little drive here, we're gonna come to the main Cornelius Town Hall. Now the Town Hall, like any Town Hall, it's got those beautiful columns. Um, but one thing that I love is they've updated it. So this is actually the original Town Hall. They've just updated everything around it, including the driveways. Now, this is where we get into a little bit of hub of shopping as well as homes. So there are homes, as you can see, all around the Cornelius area. So all in here, you're gonna find homes that are in the 350 to 500 range right in here. You can see where they're more spread out. And then we get back here where we've got more of a townhouse style, which is gonna bring your actual price to be in Cornelius quite a bit lower, which is nice. Um, so they do have little parks and pools and things like that. But what I wanna point out over here is these older buildings. So this is right on North Main Street. North Main Street is also known as Old Statesville Road. It changes names just as you're coming out of Huntersville. But this road will take you all the way into Charlotte going down. As you come up this road, it is an old country road. So you've got little businesses and shops coming all the way up here, and you've even got breweries and uh, bottle shops. Now, one place, if you are someone who loves to brew beer, there is a little spot right over here, right around the corner, where you can go to have any of your tanks filled for your um, brew kegs, anything of that nature, it's all right there. Now, if you're looking for food shopping and things of that nature, we've got Harris Teeter, um, little restaurants, food line, things of that nature all throughout here. And what's not shown right now on this map, I'm gonna zoom in here. There it is, Barley Market. So Barley Market is actually a bar pub. They actually have food as well and coffee, a little bit of everything. This was actually, this business was opened by a real estate agent who wanted a spot to go be able to sit and sip coffee while working on contracts. So great little spot. They kept the original uh, facade of the property and interior and completely redesigned it. I absolutely love it. Now, as we head up Main Street a little bit more, you'll see you've got things like Ace Hardware, Habitat for Humanity, um, and churches. So we're gonna go back to this little layers here. Pull you guys back out of it. Now, the next thing I wanna point out to you is with regards to the lake. Now, there's two areas of Lake Norman that are completely cut off from the rest of the lake. Right up here is in Davidson, so none of this can actually be touched. Uh, if, you, if you launch your boat in this area, you can't actually get to Lake Norman. It's completely cut off by I-77. The second place that that's true is in this little nick, or nick, I'm gonna try that again, this little nook right here. So this little nook of water, you cannot access the actual uh, Lake Norman area from here. So it's completely cut off or landlocked, uh, land and road locked, I guess you could call it. And so when you come out of this older area of Cornelius, you're gonna find older homes all throughout here. And we come on over, let's talk a little bit about, cause I just told you a little bit about the downtown. I also wanna tell you a little bit about commute time. So we're gonna dive back just for a second. So let's talk a little bit about commutes. Now, if you live, we were talking about traffic a little while ago, if you live in Davidson or live in Cornelius and you are wanting to go into Charlotte, 
So if you're in Cornelius wanting to go in, you're looking in, this is a traffic time that we're looking at this, by the way, it's about 38 minutes. Now, leaving Charlotte, going back home, this is without using a toll loan or a toll lane, it's about 41 minutes. So this is during peak traffic time. This is 5.30 in the evening. Um, so it's really not that bad, especially if you're wanting that lake life. Let's say you wanna be out here on Jatan. You're looking at about a 36 minute drive. Not bad at all if you ask me if you wanna live that lake life. Now, another place where a lot of people want to go would be the beach. So let's go a little bit further out and take a look at Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington is the main beach uh, that most North Carolinians and some South Carolinians go to. Reason being, while North Carolina is known for the Outer Banks, they're actually not very easy to get to. In fact, going from Charlotte up to Nags Head or up in this area right here, Corolla, would actually be about five and a half hours. It is not a simple drive. Instead, you can pop right down here for three hours and 45 minutes. You can be in Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington is the center point and is a major port city for North Carolina and has been since back in the day when we still rode in wooden boats. So the next thing I wanna point out is Asheville. So Asheville, North Carolina is in the mountains. It's a very desirable area and it's very attainable if you wanna go take a day trip. So if you wanna head on up to Asheville, North Carolina, it is a two hour drive. Uh, once again, this is during traffic time, so that's really not bad at all whatsoever. Now, last but not least, some people do wanna make commutes, uh, whether it be down to Rock Hill, South Carolina, or the South Carolina border. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here Fort Mill, which is another area of South Carolina. If you're going all the way down to Fort Mill, you're looking at about an hour drive. Now it looks really close. That's one of the things that throws many people off when they're moving out here, is it looks like it's really close to Cornelius or any of these areas, but because you have to take I-77 all the way down, it is rather traffic ridden and that can cause you to take a little bit longer. As you can say, if we flip flop that, it's still about an hour drive or a little bit more. So from a commute standpoint, it's really not bad if you're living in, in Cornelius and working in Charlotte. Let's pull that back up real quick. In addition to that, let's talk a little bit about lake life. All right, so we've got all of these areas of Cornelius that touch the lake. Why is this important? Well, it's now known as the area, if you wanna have lake life, this is where you go. So I'm gonna point out some of the places where you may wanna check out if you wanna check out the lake. The first one is in this image right here, and it's in Ramsey Creek Park. Now, if you wanna to go to the beach, where do you go? On the coast, right? But in Charlotte, again, it's about three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes away. So what Charlotte and conjunction with Cornelius did is they went ahead and created a beach. That's right, an actual beach, which I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back out because apparently I lost it. My apologies. Let's pull this back here. Here we go. Ramsey Creek Park right here. So Ramsey Creek Park actually does have a beach. I'm gonna see if it pulls up on the map because it's really cool. Um, I'll have a little bit of B-roll that'll pop in here to show you the beach itself. But yeah, Ramsey Creek Park has this beautiful beach that they have put in. This way people can go enjoy the lake without just going to a boat launch. Now also over here, you've got a boat launch and place that you can dock. So it's a really great area that you can go out, launch your boat, have a great time with friends and family, but the park is humongous. So whether you live in Cornelius or in Huntersville, in Charlotte, it doesn't matter. You can come and enjoy the actual park itself, go out to the canine park, anything you wanna do, you have access to it. Now, as we zoom back out, one of the things you might've noticed is there are several boat ramps and launches throughout the Cornelius area. This is there on purpose because there is such a draw for boats and it's such an easy area for people to get to from Charlotte. A lot of people are going to pop up there to go ahead and make it happen. 
So let's talk a little bit about the parks that are going on in uh, the, the Cornelius area. Now, this one I always find very intriguing, the sandbar. You might have noticed this. Let's go ahead and highlight this real quick. So the sandbar is a local love. Um, so the sandbar is actually a sandbar. That's right. It's a legitimate sandbar out in the middle of the water. Now, this is some place where people like to go hang out, spend their Saturdays or Sundays, and you literally can just dock your boat, tie it up, and hang out with everybody. So there's usually plenty of people out there throughout the year. You just might not want to get in the water in the middle of winter. But it's a really great place to bring the family for you to go hang out, have some cold drinks, and just relax and listen to music. But it's a great little spot. Now, zooming back out here, we're going to move down just a little bit. We've also got Jaton Park. So Jaton Park, very close to Ramsey Creek. Jaton has a lot of running trails uh, and things of that nature that you can go hang out, go down to the waterfront. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this view real quick here. So Jaton Park right coming in through here. They also have tennis courts. I know, so cool, right? So you've got all these different running trails and places that you can go and hike and go down by the water and go fishing. But the center point of this is tennis courts, which sounds kind of odd, but when you think about it, Cornelius is one of the most affluent areas of Charlotte or on the outskirts. So it would make sense that they would have tennis somewhere, right? Now, another thing I want to go ahead and zoom in on is this beach. And that's right. The one over in Ramsey Creek Park is not the only beach. This is actually a naturally occurring beach on Lake Norman. Lake Norman throughout the areas, you'll have some kinds of sometimes rocky shoals, sometimes more muddy. However, a lot of times in different areas, you will actually have sediment buildup that's kind of like sand on the beaches and shorelines. So there's different areas of the beach or of, of the lake that you'll come upon that have that. Now, let's talk a little bit about neighborhoods. The pricing is gonna vary all around Cornelius. So the average price point in Cornelius is gonna be about 535,000. Now, mind you, most of the lower price points are gonna come from this area over here or what I would consider inland, right? It's not gonna be on the outskirts on the water. Now, the homes that are actually waterfront, you're looking no less than 1.2 to 1.5 and honestly, a lot of times it's going to be far more than that. The reason being, like I said, it's one of the highly coveted locations because it's so close to Charlotte that you are right here and you can live that lake life. So what comes with having a really beautiful lakefront area? Some really beautiful neighborhoods. The Peninsula is actually a neighborhood in Cornelius. It takes up quite a bit off of, off of Jaton Road. And if you're looking for a great drive that has some beautiful views of gorgeous homes and the lake itself, take a trip and go drive out Jaton. Now the Peninsula Club is a very well-known golf community in where? The Peninsula, that's right. So the Peninsula Club does attract people whether you live in the community or perhaps you're visiting. In addition to that, like I said, you've also got this right here. It's their country club. Now the country club, you can have events, host parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings, whatever you want, even corporate events. And they have something for the family as well. So it's a meeting and gathering place with pools and places to hang out, fine dining, and some beautiful views out over the water. I have uh, been to many event events here and just look how gorgeous that is. I absolutely love it. The Peninsula Club is a highly desirable area in Cornelius and many people who live out there live in the peninsula. Now, this does not take up the actual entirety of the peninsula. Why do I say that? The peninsula is actually what this is. The physical uh, land mass is a peninsula, but the actual neighborhood does not take up the entirety. Now, as you can see on this, the actual golf course is quite expansive. Look at that. But right around here, it cuts off and it turns into something completely different. So if we come all the way out to the end here, we've got the Yacht Club Park and Playground, the Safe Harbor Peninsula Yacht Club, which is where you can dock your boat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in here. They have boat slips that you can lease out. Um, and it also comes with its own little community center. So you don't have to be a part of the Peninsula neighborhood to be over here, but it is its own 
club. So you do have to be a part of that. To give you an idea of some of the kinds of homes that are out here, whether in or outside of the peninsula, look at this home that is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, among many famous people who live on the lake, one of which is actually Michael Jordan. That's right, he did have his home. Uh, one of his homes was here on Lake Norman many, many moons ago. Um, and if you take a tour out on the lake, they will point it out to you. So most of the homes out here, if you are on the lake, you've got a dock. This It's lake life. This is what you do. Everybody's got a dock if you have a property that's on the lake. Now, in order to get a dock, I'm going to give you a little bit of background information here. The actual lake itself is owned and managed by Duke Energy. That's right. The lake was actually formed in order to cool the power stations that are both on the south and north side of Lake Norman. In fact, in the middle of Lake Norman, there is actually still a sunken town. That's right. There was another town that was in here before they flooded it by putting in the dam. And there is actually still a sunken town on the bottom of Lake Norman. But the whole purpose of it was to cool the electrical power plants. So with that being said, if you want to build a dock or reinforce your, your walls, anything like that, you need to permit it through Duke Energy. So let's talk just a little bit about nightlife, restaurants, things of that nature. If you want a great uh, night out, afternoon out, anything like that, I highly recommend Hello Sailor. They've got a very intriguing, I think it's intriguing and I absolutely love it, intriguing menu. I think I showed you a little bit about that in one of my videos about Cornelius, but the food is great and the atmosphere is even better. Overlooking the lake, overlooking the boats, it's absolutely fantastic. And so a few other place, places you may want to check out. Let me zoom in here real quick. As I had pointed out earlier, you've got the harp and crown. Also down here, cool fish, which is delicious. And if you're looking for a little bit something creative, you can always picnic it right out on the beach or head down to the Port City Club. Now the Port City Club is a more luxury or resort style. Um, I do recommend that you dress up just a little bit if you're gonna go there, but the views again are absolutely incredible. The meals that they have or the menu uh, is a bit more straightforward. So you're talking tuna tartare, and I did say luxury. You're talking tuna tartare, uh, there we go. Some ahi tuna in that image right there. There's a picture of it, but it also, it does overlook the lake. Great for an after hours drink or beverage with a friend or great for events. So they actually do have an event space if you wanna host it for you right out here. Um, if they wanna host for a corporate event or things like that, great place to go. So where to avoid in Cornelius? Honestly, I wouldn't avoid any part in Cornelius. Everything has its own little feel. So you've got more luxury out here and then you have more downtown home feel where you've got an old country style downtown in here in the main strip and everything in between. So if there's something you're looking for, Cornelius can certainly meet your needs. If you guys have extra questions on what's going on in Cornelius, drop it in the comments below. This way I can get to it and help you find everything you need. Well, I hope that covered more information than you thought you knew about Cornelius. And if you have additional questions, again, be sure to make a comment below so I can get all the information that you need before you make the decision to move here. Now, Cornelius is only one of many suburbs of Charlotte, so if that didn't float your boat, there's always some others. Remember, whether you're nine days or 90 days moving across the country or across town, myself and my team would love to help you find exactly the home you're looking for and make Charlotte home. Until our next video, I will look forward to seeing you around town.